The final class in Diablo 4 is the Necromancer, who is a renowned summoner, often resurrecting corpses to fight with them in battle. Like barbarians and rogues, a wide variety of weapons are available to them, such as swords, daggers, wands, and more importantly, scythes, which only they can wield. Diablo 4's Necromancer will remind veterans of the Necromancer in Diablo 3 because of the essence resource to activate potent skills. Another useful resource is corpses, which are created from the remains of fallen enemies or other spell effects. In fact, you can even make use of the fan favorite, Corpse Explosion. Necromancers have four distinct played styles, namely Bone, Darkness, Blood, and the Army. Bone skills primarily focus on dealing physical damage while consuming the essence resource. One of the most notable spells is Bone Prison, which ensnares multiple enemies that can be used in conjunction with offensive-based skills. Next is Darkness that makes use of dealing damage over time, making it the ideal choice for those who intend to torture foes who dare to fight them. Next is Blood, which allows the Necromancer to become a bloodthirsty vampire to restore their own life. One notable spell is Blood Surge, which not only absorbs the HP of enemies, but also gains their strength. An explosion will soon follow to deal additional damage. And last but not least is the Army, which lets you bring skeletons back to life, as well as constructed golems. The Necromancer's unique class mechanic is the Book of the Dead. This lets them further customize their undead armies such as Skeleton Warriors, Skeleton Mages, and Golems. For instance, Skeleton Warriors can become Skirmishers who deal greater damage but at the expense of maintaining a lower health pool, or Defenders who inflict lesser damage but are expert tanks. What's more is that you can choose to sacrifice a specific minion to gain a permanent buff to further improve your build. Stabilized.